welcome to bettingnews.boilsports.com and I'm joined by our entertainment spokesperson, Nicola McGeady. Hey, Nicola. Hey, hey. Now, Big Brother, of course, has got everybody's imagination, not mine, I have to say, but most other people's imagination. People are really getting stuck into it now. The big story I'm going to start off asking you about is the Irish contestant. What did she do to actually make herself a part of this house? I don't really understand it. Well, she was, when she entered the house, she was booed. Nobody liked her, and she was at, like, 33 to 1, you know. She was a, an outsider. But now, after shaving her eyebrows off and constantly wearing a moustache and glasses drawn with permanent marker, the viewers love this and have seen, you know, she has a light-hearted side. And she's not the real mean girl that everyone thought she was going to be. So Noreen is now at 10 to 1. So, so she's come in she quite a really, bit. Her price was really slashed there. So now the young Brazilian stud, I Rodrigo. believe, who shaved off her eyebrows, yeah. is he the favourite? Yeah, he's absolutely the favourite at 3 to 1. But, you know, it's still early days. It could definitely change. Second favourite then to him is kind of, he's like a gay icon, Charlie. Everybody in Big Brother, everyone likes the kind of gay icon guy like Brian Dowling as well was yeah. really popular yeah. they go down well with the public and he's at 11 to 2 and then we have Freddie who's up for nomination this week I don't think he'll be evicted um, he's at 9 to 1 so if you were to have a bet now on the overall winner it, it, like the favourite from the early stages of what I've seen in previous years they don't normally it win changed, it yeah. yeah yeah so who would you be going for if you were having a little bet on Big Brother this year if well, without the favourite, I definitely go with Chiron. He's at ten to one as well. Okay. Um, he's a kind of a real cool dude, and he's funny as well. So I ten to one, Chiron, definitely a bet. And now, of course, it is the first eviction, uh, first which eviction, happens tomorrow yeah. night. I believe we've got a very, very strong favourite here. Yeah, Sophia, one to twenty to go. You know, it's a search. He's going to go. Nobody likes her. She's constantly giving out, shedding, and causing tension in the house. I suppose it does make it more interesting when arguments you know happen and stuff yeah. rather than just a, you know a real happy house but but you think she's a certain yeah she's she seems to be hated by the public okay. at the moment so i think it's bye bye sophia bye bye sophia now moving on to another guy who you could say bye bye to on a number um of issues michael jackson and yeah. um, he's got this big ev- event planned in the o2 a big gigging summer how many gigs is he going to do let's be honest i mean michael jackson cannot possibly fulfill all these dates yeah, well, as I said, you were talking about this on Colin and Jim Jim, and you might have an idea as well, Leon. We have a range of gigs that he's going to do. 0 to 10 gigs is at 7 to 4. 11 to 20 gigs is 3 to 1. I still, mm, I would go, I think he's going to do the 41 do you? to 50. I do. I have a bit of faith in old even Jack. Though they're saying, 6 to 1. Even like though they're the outside saying outside that he's shot. only done about an 8 of the rehearsals that he's supposed to be yeah. doing, I believe he's barely even turning up. This to is his practice. big comeback. I don't think he's. I don't think he's gonna. Yeah, but is his body going to allow him do all these gigs? Because it is a very, very demanding tour schedule that he set himself. I know he's got a break in the middle of it, but can he possibly do between forty and fifty gigs? Yeah, it is a question because his gigs, you know, they're really intense. You know, mm. dancing a lot of dancing and a lot of singing. So. Maybe you're right. Maybe I'm wrong with the 41 to 50. How about we go 31 to 40 yeah. gigs? Maybe a 5 to 1. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I agree with you. I, I think he's he might get about half of them done because yeah. it is his big comeback gig. He would make gig. an absolute fool of himself if he did yeah. cancel all these gigs yeah. after all the press and coverage it's been getting. There's been so much hype over it. So I really don't think him or his management will actually allow this to yeah. happen. Now, all these what was that? Is there a rumour that there's something to do with the management team that he has now against the management team that we're supposed to have him? Is there some contractual... Something is not right there. Something is telling <laughs> me that like something's going to come out after this event that, oh, he owes this fella something or he owes he that fella something. He probably does. Michael Jackson, I don't know. Who knows? It's all, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, all up yeah, there. He's yeah. a madman. So, so you're going to settle yeah, for before... I'm going to settle with 31 to 40 gigs at 5 to 1. There you go. Thanks, okay. Nicola. Thank you.